Hey guys, Sleepy here with you guys today. Um, in this video, I'm actually going to be doing a sort of network tour of a cottage instead of my desk tour. I'm only here because I have to unbox something. Um, last year, you might have, might have seen the video, I'm not sure. But I had installed an Apple Airport Extreme uh, for our Wi-Fi router, right? And we had this little house thing upstairs. Uh, in the detached garage, where guests can stay and all that kind of stuff. And we don't have connection up there for Wi-Fi, because the router's not strong enough, obviously, it's a house away. So, yesterday we picked up this device. It's a Netgear Nighthawk Wi-Fi range extender, so it boosts your ex existing Wi-Fi. Um, up to 10,000 square feet, as a matter of fact, that's a really big range. It has tri antennas, 1800. I'm going to be opening up this package and installing it, connecting it to our network upstairs in the other house, uh, garage, whatever. So yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this and we'll get it set up here because our network is actually over here. So we'll then install it over there afterwards. So I actually just went over and get a knife here, or like how I say it, kniffy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this here. So there's a few tabs here. I'm sorry the lighting is very poor in my room and there's kind of like fuzziness on the camera, that's because, well, it's a really dark room, I have exposure all the way up, and I don't have my lighting here, so it's kind of an issue. But yeah, unboxing this here. It's a nice packaging, it's one of the best I've seen for a Wi-Fi router, other than the Apple's packaging, which is, you know, it's quite nice. Um, opening this up, it should just slide right open, which it's not doing right now. And I can't break the packaging on this because in case it doesn't work, I have to return this after, so that's kind of an issue as well. Um, let's slide this off, which reveals another box that we've got to open up as well, which opens up this way actually. Again, I can't wreck this packaging. Uh, so here's the instructional manual. And if you guys see my Instagram post, or story as they call it from last time, like yesterday, uh, how big the box was. It's, the router's actually pretty much the size of the whole box, so it's a pretty big extender considering it's just an extender, not even a Wi-Fi router. Um, instructional manual, we'll be probably using this because it's not like Apple routers where you just hook up airport, um, whatever the app is called, and then you just set it up. You gotta go online, one two dollars say that's zero dot zero, to get it to come up. So yeah, we're gonna have to use this manual, so I'm gonna leave this on the side. And go ahead and pull, the extender out. It does include a base, which we'll probably be using because it's going to be in the garage, and our three antennas in this box. Um, here is the router, so yeah. Let me go ahead and open this up here. So, yes, I cannot wreck this packaging or lose any of it. So, yes, here's a router covered in its plastic. I'm going to go ahead and Tear this off here. So satisfying. Um, just like basically any product that has plastic wrap. So there's the router. It looks pretty nice, as a matter of fact. Um, there's the on and off button. You have your 12 volt DC inputs, WPS button, and five Ethernet ports. So you can plug in your wired devices to this router with no issues. Uh, and your three antenna clips with a pamphlet that comes. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty awesome. If you slide this, a pamphlet comes out, um, telling you how to use it and its channels. That's pretty awesome, as a matter of fact. And it tells you what the LEDs do in the front, so that's pretty useful. That's pretty cool as well, actually. It's never knew someone would think of that. And our three antennas. So we'll go ahead and plug the antennas in here. I don't need this anymore. So the antennas actually just open pretty simply. Just start open here. And our antennas come right out. The back of this, I don't actually know how, and I don't. Oh, there's covers. Okay. So I was gonna say, like, what the? There's a. Uh, these are these plastic rubbery things are covers. They come right off. Exposing the contact. So you just turn it on here. And then you just wrote you know you And boom! Antennas are done being installed. Lots of fingerprints on this already. That's fine, I'll wipe them up after. 
And these are actually active antennas, they do function, unlike some rotors that just have them there for looks. Uh, it does have the connector pour back there, not just some plastic insert, it's an actual working antenna. You can see the actual connections inside here for the antenna band. These move in any direction you'd like them to move to. And if you have it on a stand, which I believe goes this way, you point them to the direction of your router. So if I were to be upstairs sitting on the TV console, I'd actually have them angled about this. Just like that, facing inwards, because that's where the signal would come in from. And you get the best connection like this. Now, I have to tell the guests not to move the antennas, because, well, it's going to be set up that way. But yeah, that's the router. So I figured it out. These pads actually go on the bottom of this. I'm not sure if I have to install them now, because i got to get the base on. But we'll go ahead and try that right here. So here comes the base which isn't coming out of its packaging, because it's all sticky. Okay, so it just like, comes off like that. Okay. So there's a base. I'm going to go ahead and try and put this on. Now, it most likely goes this way. First try. So, here's the base. I'm going to put the feet on the, on the router either way, so that in case I don't want the base, I can well, use it without it. So yeah, that's how it would look. Uh, if it's sitting upwards, which it probably will be. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, so I'll just put the feet in the back here, just, just so that it looks better. Yeah, so there's the router. That's how it's going to look. Let's go ahead and save these plastic pins here. We're going to probably have to use this computer. So this computer is the Wi-Fi right now. Uh, Cottage Wi-Fi Network is our Wi-Fi name. And if I go ahead and open Google Chrome, and I type speed... Just going to freaking safari, whatever. Okay, speed test. Okay, speed test by Ookla. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and run a speed test here for this Wi-Fi. Keep in mind I'm right beside it, so that's gonna be a full connection on this computer. So yeah, we're getting, we're we're paying for a hundred. We're getting pretty close to that. I'm in the other room. We're actually getting basically a hundred. Uh, it's a pretty solid connection once it gets connected. We haven't used the Wi-Fi yet in this this today. So, yeah. And 10 upload, which is what we're paying for, and we're getting exactly what we get. So, yeah, there we go. So that's going to be our speed to look at. Uh, 100 down, supposedly, so 88, and 10 upload. So, yeah. When we get this connected, we're going to go upstairs, we're going to see if we can get something similar. I know the upload will be similar, because it's pretty small either way. We're not paying for high upload, because we don't upload that much, so we're making videos. And download should be, I'm, I'm guessing about 50 up there, which is just fine for guest usage. So yes, um, I'm going to go ahead and open up this instructional manual and test it out to see how to set this up. So we actually get three pamphlets here. We get an English one, we get a Spanish one, and we also get a French one. We're using the English one for this video. So yeah, th I'm not sure if this, is, if this is a setup. Okay, this is a setup thing, I'm pretty sure. Use the extender in extender mode. All right, so. Okay, so it says connect to the Wi-Fi network, so I'm gonna plug this in here. I'm gonna open up this 12 volt DC power cord. I collect, I have so many of these, but whatever. Um, yeah. And we're going to go ahead and plug this in here. Alright, so we're going to plug this in. I've said that 50 times now, that's fine. So you should be able to see the lights coming up. When I press on, there we go. So now the lights are coming up here. It should be sending out a signal anytime. There we go, Netgear EXT. So we're going to go ahead and connect to this network which is connected to right now on my computer screen up here. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and go to the website www.mywifiext.net Enter. So it's going to, there we go. It's going to load to this page. New extender setup. Create an account. Okay, I'm going to just blur all this stuff out here. Wi-Fi range extender. Right. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get it to connect to both, so it should connect. Network name, signal strength, security. Alright, so, a uh, cottage Wi-Fi network and a cottage Wi-Fi network. We're going to have it connected to those two. So we're only getting 61% from over here, which is, eh, it's alright. That's fine. Actually, that's not too bad, considering that the, the internet down here, Normand 2, is actually the store way down the road on the other side of the street. That's their Wi-Fi, Normand 2. I've no idea how they picked it up, but they sure did, so, well, guess what? It's, a probably, it's probably a pretty strong Wi-Fi. But yes, I'm going to be having this extend cottage Wi-Fi network on 2.4 GHz network and 5 GHz network. I'm going to click next here. So here's the password. Uh, I don't even know the password for my Wi-Fi, so I'm going to go ahead and... I think I know what it is, actually. Yeah, I know what it is. Okay, I'm going to go and test if I got it right. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and press next, and it should be connecting. So this is actually a pretty simple setup, as you can see here. This is an AC9800 Wi-Fi rate extender, as you know by the box. Um, so now it's going to be setting up. There we go. I want it to be same as existing network password. Uh, cottage Wi-Fi network and Cottage Wi-Fi network. So it'll be the exact same network name as earlier. So when you walk over, it'll be the exact same thing. So these are going to be the same next. All right. So now it's going to be setting up. Okay, so now that the thing is done setting up, you can see here we have our 2.4 gigahertz network as well as the 5 gigahertz network at decent connection. Uh, they're both in the same SSID as, as well as password. So, so it's connected. There we go. So now that's gone, and it's just using the cottage Wi-Fi network again. Go ahead and continue. So your extender, your extender has successfully connected to your existing Wi-Fi network. So there we go. It is now connected. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz is green. And 5 gigahertz is green, up and down is green as well. Next. Okay, well, why not? I'll just give them to you, I don't care. Will I grab it? Canada, part of state. Serial number, sure. Finish. So now I have an NFT account. I always do this anyway, I don't really care. Uh, it's up and running, so now it is done. Cool. So actually, this Wi-Fi router extender is actually better than the one we have over there. This can connect up to 1,300 megabits per second, which is really not that bad. Um, connection we're getting right now, so the speed up uh, that we're getting from this router on 5 gigahertz is 878 megabits per second. That's incredibly fast. And 2.4 gigahertz, 195, which is still incredibly fast considering what we're paying for. So, yeah, that's really good. That's a great connection. So, yeah, this is how you set this up. Let me go ahead and... I'm going to look at some settings here. Okay. Alright. Okay. IP address. Oh, there's nothing. Alright. Connected devices. There shouldn't be any right now, but... Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, okay. Just those two. Okay, so my computer is actually connected to it right now because... So you can see here, Blair's MacBook Pro 2, because there's two of them. I have one in Toronto and here. This is the second one. Uh, my computer is connected to this right now because it's the closest nearby. I don't know what connection it's using. I don't know if it's using 5 gigahertz or 2.4, but we're going to go ahead and run a speed test on this network. So now we're on the extenders network, we're gonna see what the test the speed is. So it's actually pretty fast. We're just slightly slower. Actually it's actually pretty much the same thing. Um, 
connection speed wise. So yeah, as you can see here, we're getting eh, about 90 and 10 uploads. So the, the 10 uploads is never going to change because it's a low speed anyways. But yeah, so here in the same spot, it's the same, it's the same speed basically. We're going to go ahead and take this to the garage and see what the speed will look like. So yeah, there's our speeds. I'm going to go ahead and say that for you. Take a screenshot if you don't believe me. That's the speed. Uh, 88 down, 10 upload. And there's are devices. So, yeah. Kind of go ahead and... That's the same. Is there anything else? No. Actually, yeah, I'm going to back this up here. There we go. So now that's backed up. Just in case. Alright, so let's close this. We'll go ahead and bring this to upstairs. And I'll take my tablet with me to do a speed test when we're there. So I'm going to go ahead and... Power this down. Alright, so inside here is actually where the bedroom where I set the whole thing up. And that's like in there, in the house. And here's the sort of garage thing where there's the upstairs apartment up here. It's pretty big. Um, and then here's the garage. Now, we actually can't put it upstairs because, well, there's no space. So, we put it in the garage here. So, I'm gonna, if you walk in here, you'll see. Uh, it's actually placed. I know it's in the furthest corner away from the house. But it still works. So it's actually up here, antenna's facing there. Uh, plug it into down here in the power socket. That's where it will stay temporarily because they're gonna be tearing at the ceiling up over on the other side, which is over over there, like on the other side of the store where the staircase is. They're gonna be tearing at the ceiling there. So I can't place it there for now, so it's gonna have to stay over on this side. And fun fact, at the very furthest side of the garage compared from the house, we actually get good signals, full. So if we go upstairs to where the Wi-Fi will be mainly used, which is inside here and up the stairs, I have my tablet here which I'll be using for the video. Uh, yeah, so if we go upstairs, I just hit the thing up here, uh, you will see. So I'll be going to the furthest point of this room. So I got about right here, and this is upstairs. Here's the tablet. So. We are going to go ahead and run a speed test. So as you can see, the Wi-Fi is in fact at full signal, and this is Cottage Wi-Fi Network being extended from downstairs. So we're going to go ahead and go into speed test here, and we're going to run our speed test. So remember we got an 88 and 10 at the other house. Obviously it's going to be slower here because it's the very opposite side, but yeah. So we're getting a 10 download here. Actually about 11 right here. 13, well, 13 maybe. So you can still load HD videos and all your web pages pretty quickly, which I'll show you after. And upload being the same as download. It's a little bit slower, about 10, as you can see here. So very smooth, solid connection. Ping of 14 milliseconds from this router. Keep in mind this is downstairs in the basement, well in the garage, at the opposite side of the house. So that's very, very far away from the main Wi-Fi router, which is on the other side of the other house. And I will actually have this router moved from way over there to the other side of the garage, as I showed you downstairs, which the signal will pick up an even stronger. So yes. That is our speed from up here, as you can see here, 13 down and 11 upload. I'm gonna go ahead and load some HD videos here. I'm gonna click on my videos. As you can see, it loads pretty